So um, that largely brings to a close the main portion of the conference. But before we wrap up, I want to invite uh, Martin Schultz back to talk a little bit about next year's conference before we close. There we go. I hope you can hear me and you can see this. We can. Wonderful. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Wesley. Uh, hello again. Um, I'm um, I'm happy to announce that we will host uh, your MPI 2021 uh, together with the Fall MPI Forum in um, in Garching. Uh, so this is a small town near Munich. I get to that in a second. In particular, we'll host it at the Leibniz Supercomputing Center which is one of uh, one of Germany's three top tier centers and also one of the, the, uh, the praise hosting centers. We're still looking at the dates, but most likely do this in the week of uh, September 6th, uh, most likely actually on September 7th. But um, don't take this for granted yet. We'll announce this um, very soon once the date has been completely fixed. So before we go into the details of the logistics, though, a little bit on the, the, the conference itself. So the steering committee has taken a look at the conference and has to, has decided that they want to attempt to refocus the conference a little bit, and that's what we're going to try next year. Your MPI has been an incredible venue. Um, it has been wonderful discussions here on the MPI standard, on implementations of, of the MPI standard, optimizations around that. And it actually has been an incredible influential uh, uh, conference, actually most, more than many other conferences. If you look, particularly in HPC, if you look at how many things ended up in the MPI standard. Almost every, every major addition to the standard and most minor additions have a, a your MPI paper associated with that that started a discussion that actually um, brought out the idea and then I led, led afterwards to the, um, to the input to the standard. So it's, a, it's an incredible forum and that's kind of what the steering committee wants to, to focus on. The your MPI will be focused on, um, on papers on standards, standard design, standard implementation, um, we'll probably rely a little bit more on invited presentations also to help guide some of these discussions. We really want to provide a discussion space for the future of, of MPI. We also had some future MPI workshops um, over, over, over the years. We'll be trying to kind of put these together and really find a venue that, that helps us drive the MPI standard forward. And that's also why the idea is to combine this with the MPI forum. We, we're going to um, going to have them right um, right next to each other. Uh, in fact, we want to have the conference this time before the MPI forum so they can actually stimulate and then inform the forum also that. Also, we will keep it tightly together, possibly as a single event. So hopefully a lot of, um, who, of you who are interested and come to your MPI and actually stay for the MPI forum and, and, and can kind of help with that even a step further in, uh, in pushing our MPI standard forward. Uh, for the format, we'll have the usual program elements. We'll have peer reviewed contributed papers. We'll be looking at other elements as well. As I said, we're going to rely a little bit more on, 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 on keynotes as well. We're going to talk about MPI design implementation issues. Um, so this will be a discussion over the, the, the next year, how we actually going to going to implement this, but that's kind of the core idea. And the idea is to provide a lot of discussion opportunities. And of course, with that also comes a social event. And um, typically, the, uh, you can expect there will be some Bavarian flair at the event. So there will be likely some meat and there will be likely some beer. Um, but don't worry, we'll also take care of those of you who, who, who like other beverages and who don't like meat. Um, we'll sure we'll find something, but um, it will be a nice evening. We'll, we'll make sure we get you some Bavarian flair in this time. So I think this just will be quite nice. Uh, also, most likely we'll be going to organize the conference as a single day attached to the MPI forum. This is still up for decision. We'll, we'll finalize de the details here. Over the next couple of months, and again, um, we'll we'll present this to the community once we have finalized the, these ideas. So more details to come. If you have any particular suggestions on what, what input you would like to, to give the steering committee on how to refocus the conference, please send them in. Please send them to me. Send them to uh, to, to, to Bill Grob or any of the other uh, major MPI contributors, and then we'll trickle down uh, to the, the steering committee and, and and to us as the organizers. So uh, any suggestions here are certainly welcome. As for the logistics, um, as I said, we will hold this in Garching. This is where the uh, the compute center is located. Garching is actually very close uh, to, to Munich. So you see the, the map of Germany here. Munich is down here in the, in the south. And Garching is just to the, to the northeast of that. Uh, it's uh, attached to Munich by subway. Munich is a very efficient public transportation system. So you can be in the city center within 26 minutes on a single line of, uh, of the subway. 
So it's, it's, it's very convenient as a, there's a stop basically right in front of the building at the, at the research campus. So we have hotels in Garching. Um, we have hotels. Hopefully by next year, we'll also have a hotel on campus. But also, if you would like to stay in the city, you can also stay in the city and then just take the subway out to uh, to the campus in the morning. Um, either, the, either either option is, is certainly possible, and there's certainly no car needed uh, when 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 you come to Munich. Uh, at Geiching, we have a rather large research campus, which you can see here. This is the campus of the Technical University of Munich, uh, together with several Max Planck institutes, several Fraunhofer institutes, European Cessna Observatory is there and also uh, the Leibniz Supercomputing Center, which is located down here on, on, on the southern edge of the campus. This is an aerial shot of the, of the supercomputing center, so that's where we're gonna have the conference. The front part is the supercomputing center. This is the actual, um, um, actual co co compute room, we call it compute cube, because there are two cubes put next to each other, office buildings, of course. And up front here, we have a conference center uh, that is very, very well suited for this, um, for this kind of event. So we'll hold the conference uh, in, in the front of here. In the background, by the way, you see already the Tech University of Munich. There's a computer science and math department, which is, which is uh, right next door. If you ever heard of our building, we are the ones with the slides. So if you want to, in the coffee breaks, go over and run on the slides, that would be certainly possible as well. So this is set very close to Munich, very easy to reach. This is, again, the first shot from the front on the, the conference center. The date will likely be September 7th. The reason why we picked this a little bit earlier than usual is because for one, it's a week after Europar. So if you want to come to Europar and Euro MPI, you can combine the trip for that, uh, particularly if you're coming from overseas. Uh, it's the week before the likely time where IWAMP happens in Bristol. So if you want to go to MPI and OpenMP events, you can also do this as, as a single trip. So we thought that week in between would be kind of convenient and not overlapping with, with other events. And then the other thing is, before I get asked questions about this, it's two weeks before the Oktoberfest, which starts mid-September, not in October. And the reason why we don't overlap with the Oktoberfest, which of course would have been fun as well, but I think nobody would have been able to pay the hotel prices in this time, because the city is at that point uh, totally overrun. But if you are in, interested in this, just stay a week in Bavaria, enjoy the, uh, the, the, the wonderful countryside, and then you can also um, stay in Munich for the Oktoberfest which will actually will hopefully happen uh, next year again. This year, it actually um, was canceled. It's the first time in my lifetime that, I, that uh, this, this Oktoberfest was canceled because of Corona. So there was a lot of backup plans they had to do. And we'll do, of course, the same thing also for Euro MPI 2021. We hope that we can hold this in person. We hope that all of these things are resolved by this point. So we plan for an in-person meeting. Um, we Worst case, we, we can do something like, like this year again, a virtual meeting. We really hope we don't have to, but we'll also look into hybrid options. If things are uh, open, at least for some to travel, we'll see if other ones can join, at least for the sessions and for, for some of the discussions um, over, over some kind of streaming service. So all that will have to be worked out and we'll do this much closer to the conference, but we'll certainly keep this in mind. So also here, um, um, you, we will we'll have to ask you some patience until we see what, what we can actually do and how the situation develops. It also then, of course, affects the, uh, the, the schedule, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll see how this works out. The ideal situation will be that we all meet uh, next year, hopefully in, in Munich, Garching, uh, in the beginning of September to celebrate Euro MPI 2021 and to have a good time and to also to, to, to push the MPI standard forward. So hopefully see you all there. Thank you very much. And with that, Wesley, back to you. Thanks, Martin. And I certainly hope we can all be in, in Munich next year. Um, so that does bring the main track of the conference to a close today. Uh, tomorrow, the E4S workshop will take place starting at the same time. It will run a little bit longer, uh, but they have scheduled the European focus talks uh, during the early part of the day to be a little more friendly to those time zones. Um, and please note that that workshop takes place over Zoom rather than WebEx, though you'll get the link uh, the same way. You just register on the uh, the conference website and you'll get that link automatically emailed to you. Um, I again want to thank the whole team that helped put together this conference uh, for all the hard work. Um, I know it's been a, a difficult year and, and planning this conference twice essentially has, has not helped. Uh, but I appreciate all the work that everybody's uh, done to, to get this ready. Um, and we all look forward to uh, participating again next year um, in, in the, the new ways that Martin described here. 
Um, so each of the talks uh, are, will be posted on YouTube. All of the first day's talks are already there. Um, the talks from today will uh, will be posted tomorrow morning. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to turn those around. Um, so you'll be able to find those there. We're also posting all the slides on the uh, the conference program website as well. Um, we're still um, working with ACM. There have been some some backups on their end on getting the papers posted. Uh, so we uh, we're still working on getting those links um, posted, but those will be on there shortly as well. So uh, lastly, I just want to thank uh, each of you for attending. Um, thank you for. Uh, for taking the time to participate. I know it's particularly difficult to, to carve off time when uh, so many people are working from home and you have so many demands on your time. So, uh, so we appreciate you uh, coming to the conference and I hope you learned something from all of these presentations and tomorrow from the workshop as well. So that wraps things up and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.